Hello lovely people. Take two. I don't know what happened. The last video went just it went all out of sync. It was very very weird. Um, okay so let me try this one again. This is a do not finish review. Did not finish review. Um, do finish the review <laughs> if you're enjoying it. Um, so the reason that I tend to do not finish books these days is um, either the writing's so bad I can't get into the story or the writing's beautiful but I just don't really care about what's happening and I have had a few of those where I've been so sorry to put it down because it's been just wonderful gorgeous prose but I used to sit down and go who was I worried about what was happening who am I caring about in this book I can't remember because it was just all like lovely float, floaty prose so um, yeah I, for years and years, I refused to DNF a book because I do know firsthand just how much work goes in and how hard all the writing and rewriting and editing and re-editing is. So um, I did persevere for a long time, but these days I am now older and life is shorter and life is too short for bad books. <laughs> or for books I don't enjoy, let me rephrase that. Um, so this one I was so excited to read because as you may remember I did do a post about science books and how much I enjoy learning about science now that I'm no longer in school and no longer get tested on it. <laughs> um, and this one I thought would be fantastic. So the canon, the beautiful basics of science and it sounded so good because it's it takes you right through chemistry, physics, um, astrophysics, geology, molecular biology, evolutionary biology, um, thinking scientifically, probabilities, and I just thought this would be amazing because my basic rounding in science is not great. Um, like I said, I didn't do brilliantly with it at school and I've probably forgotten most of that anyway, it's like my head's full of moon trolls and things um, and dragons. So to me something like this was just ideal. So I was very, very excited to start it. Unfortunately, as you can see, I didn't even make it two thirds of the way through and I did persevere for as long as I could and this has been living on my bedside table now for about three months probably and I have eventually caved to the fact that I will not be picking it up again. Um, and I'm really disappointed in that because I, I loved the idea of a book which took the basics of science to my sort of level so that it was something that I could build on um, and I thought that was going to be fantastic. Unfortunately, uh, whether it's as an attempt to make it more appealing to a layperson, whether it's um, just her writing style, she tends to go off into these massive flights of, of, of very over exuberant prose and, and sort of kind of jokes and relating it to family life a little bit and, and various sort of, yeah, it's just completely irrelevant. And so I found myself, even though I was getting some nice little nuggets of information out, I was kind of digging through all this other stuff in order to find it. Um, and I got bored. I, I got bored with digging through everything in order to find out the bits that the book was actually about. Um, so yeah, I just got bogged down and stopped. And like I said, I'm really, really disappointed in that because I did think it would be a fantastic book. So yes, did not finish quite disappointed um but yes let me know in the comments if you have a book like that or if you've read a book like that which takes you know scientific knowledge and gives you the basics of it and says okay here we go we can start from here um for someone scientifically challenged like me uh and otherwise if you have read this book let me know what you thought about it and if maybe i should go back to it and give it another chance um okay yeah thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time bye